like we're completely different. Anything else that's being pitched out there. So you guys will be happy to know that. Anyway, that's kind of T3. Can you describe what a pitch at, that you're doing um, involves? So when you sit down with an investor, what what kind of stuff do you do you show them? Well, believe it or not, we make a scrapbook. And they were really shocked by that. <laughs> Never had anyone bring the scrapbook in, but we kind of wanted to show um, the scrapbook because we're doing like destination kind of thing. So it's like a club bed or somewhere you'd like to visit in the world. Um, and we wanted to show what it was like to be on the island. So we kind of made a scrapbook based on someone's trip to the island. And we went through that with them and they really liked it. I was like, I've never seen a scrapbook before. <laughs> I passed out chocolate. That means it's good. So, anyway. All right. Uh, I really like the new pictures. The water looks amazing. Is there going to be swimming? Can well, we swim in the water? I think I saw some. I saw I saw people in the water, so that's good. They're not automatic. That's very good. Um, um you'd be happy to know that Russ is working on a shark uh, script. A shark script. Yeah, with sharks that follow you in the water, you know. <laughs> can they kill you? Of course they can kill you. <laughs> well, awesome. they can kill you. <laughs> well, people can Funny get nerf sharks. And get rid of the sharks. Like we're gonna make it every. Every activity in the world is going to be social in some manner. So um, they're all designed to bring people together and be able to kind of either support each other in some way or directly. Be Griselda supporting people with alcoholic beverages in there. Go, Griselda. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa. Sorry, I'm and out of it. I haven't slept. Before. That's another thing about E3. It's really very much. <laughs> it's okay. I'm looking forward to seeing pictures of that. Um, let's see. We will do some general questions with you in a minute. Andre, are you ready for Brain Blast 2? <clears throat> yep, I am. Excellent. Take it away, Andre. All right. Um. First, I'm gonna repeat just how things go for people who just came. Hopefully, I don't get kicked out again. <laughs> so, if you don't know, this is Brain Blast, our own little trivia show here. It's pretty simple. I ask a question. I will type it as well for people who can't hear me that way. They'll. I'm talking about as I can. I will type the question as well, just in case you can't hear me, and you just answer it. And the first person to Wait. I believe today's prize is a webcam, if I hear right. And can confirm that. I true. The winner gets a webcam, so you can talk with other people on things like Talkbox and Skype and whatever you like. Yes. Talkbox can. Yeah. It's all blue and pretty. All right. So let's keep it going. As I said before, today's questions deal with outer space and planets and all that fun stuff. So let's continue with this, shall we? Okay. Like I said, if you can't hear me, I will type the question. Okay. These couple questions are about the sun. Just, just know that. Now, how long does it take for light from the sun to reach our planet? I will. There we go. It's in hours and minutes. Wait, is it in hours? No, sorry, not hours. It's minutes and seconds. Sorry. <laughs> How long does it take for light from the sun to reach Earth? It's a certain amount of minutes and a certain amount of seconds. Yeah, look at me messing up. <laughs> Very, very close. I'm seeing some close estimates. It is eight minutes and Ooh, wait, someone got it right. Someone got it right. A username Scrapbug has got it correct. Woohoo! 
It is eight minutes and eighteen seconds. Yep. All right. Next question, please. All right. Let's see. The sun. Wait, no. I'm not gonna ask that one. I want to ask this one first. How long is a a cop year? I will type that as well. Boom. How long is a cosmic year? It is years. Hope everyone's enjoying all the basic questions. Oh, wait, looks like Sammy got it right. Nah, that's what I saw. Yeah. 225 years. That's a long oh, year. You can get a lot done in that year. I know. <laughs> oh, he's on the screen. He doesn't have his cool. Oh, well. Does anyone, does anyone have more than one point? Ooh, need to keep this going. Okay, I'm going to ask one more question about the sun, and then we will continue. How many feet does the sun shrink every hour? It's a single digit per hint. Ooh, yes, the answer is who got that first? Because a lot of people said that. Oh, okay, someone got it. Very happy. I typed it in because I don't want to mispronounce the name and embarrass myself. I believe it's pronounced Vonnie Lay. Lay. Sounds Hawaiian. I hope. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to pronounce the name wrong, so I'm just going <laughs> to. There, oh, I see so it. Yeah. <laughs> so, do we, have, do we have time for a little bit more to it, or? Yeah, we need to have a winner. So far, we got one winner. For each question, what one feedback? I, <laughs> I know what you mean. Okay. Thank you. Forty-two. There, Chaz. Automatic Ooh. point. <laughs> I am not an official oh. counting person. Even though Pluto is no longer classified as a planet, what are the name? What are the names of Pluto's three moons? La, 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 la. I'll repeat the question. What are the names of Pluto's three moons? Mickey Goofy Donald. Oh, I don't think that's the right answer. That's funny. Sharon Nixon Hydra from Scrapbook. That is the answer, but who got it first? Uh, it's the first one I saw, but I'm scrolling back. Oh, Angelita said it. So she, she did she say it. first? Um, uh, yeah, she I think she did. Hydra from Angelita. Yep. I see it first from Angelita. Yay. Applause. <laughs> This is kind of easy. What is the largest planet in our <clears throat> And Francis got it. Yeah. Our resident king of trivia. Cheating over there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just got it. Oh boy. There's still not a winner yet? Wow. That's way too good at this. Okay, next question.